Another very good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Now, today this is about the Google Slides app, as you can see on screen. Create shadows and reflections to images, shapes and text boxes. Now, um, the thing is, is this update just came through for me personally this morning. As I said, 19th of October, the app says 10th of October. Add effects such as shadows, reflections. Let's see how that works, because... There is a tiny bit that isn't working, and that's the text boxes. So let's have a look at what is working according to my device, Android 7, that is. So what we've got on screen is, of course, an image and another image. To make that easier, I'm going to go over and look at something like that. So here is the image. I'm going to ease, and I've decided to do this portrait because you can actually see all the buttons a lot easier. So along the bottom, we have got the one which is looks like a copy, but it's actually a shadow, which is that one. And it says, and I really like this because I would argue that it's easier doing the shadows and everything with these sliders on mobile like this than it actually is on desktop. So take the shadow off. It looks like that turn it on and obviously I was messing around with this a little bit earlier and that means that I could let's say for this example make it a red shadow and then I want to go up and now this is the thing is if I hit red there what I want to do is perhaps I go back yeah now it's changed it to red I can take the transparency up or down clearly that's very transparent that is not then, and this is the thing, I have to go up a little bit, and you've got the angle, he says, the angle of the shadow, and you can see that I, I always choose about 45, and then the distance away. Small distance, big distance, to accentuate or make it slightly bigger. Now the other thing is that the blur radius is quite interesting, because you have no blur, very crisp um, line there with the red, and if you bring it right out, you've got a blur like that. That's pretty much it. I can't say anything else apart from you go up and down. We have drop shadows checkbox top left. Let's go to a slightly different slide here, and we've got a little image this time. And this time we're going to look at the reflection, and very easy, apply a reflection, and then we can get transparency, of course. Let's not make it transparent, make it a little bit transparent, 10%. Distance away starts off the maximum you can get. Then the size, I'll leave it about there. And then the size, I'm going to say very, very tiny. And then you can bring it up to 100% and you get a reflection. Is it 100%? Yes, about a you know 100% and you get that reflection distance. Distance, although it might give it a bit big. But that's how it works. Turn that off. Now, the, the other thing, of course, is that this image of mine um, is actually an image, but it's actually on a square. So just a reminder, really, to say that if you try one of these and you put the drop shadow on and you um, do something, like, let's bring that down to about there, distance is about there, what you're actually getting here is you can see there's a drop shadow, but sometimes you've got like an image that you think is transparent, but when you actually do a drop shadow, it actually isn't. So that's that for that. Now, if I went onto desktop, I can create a reflection and a drop shadow like this in desktop for text boxes. So far, and I'll demonstrate this, so far, when I go and try as a single click, I, in theory, according to the app, should have the drop shadow and the reflection icons at the bottom. I cannot see them. I cannot see them. So therefore, if I go over to this one, I don't know if this is a bug on the app or it's a lovely promise from the Google developers saying add effects such as shadows, reflections to text boxes and images. But that's why I make these videos to test them out and more importantly, to figure out whether they're useful. And I think for me personally, as you might know from about July this year, I've been using slides an awful lot as my on-screen storyboards. And when I reflect literally back on these things and I think, how am I going to do my next video or whatever, I will often go to mobile in a different place and then just sort of go through them and figure out, you know, what works and what is my sort of in the head script as we go. So just to prove that uh, in terms of going back to the text box, perhaps I'm doing this wrong, sigh, that underneath here somewhere, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong because, um, you know, test by test, you can see that I've actually got uh, another one here, which is the adjustments of transparency, you know, brightness of the whole shape, that sort of thing, go back. 
and then I've got I've got cropping, I've got line, colour, borders, sorry, line colour. Let's make that a dark yellow. I'm I'm just playing around here and I've really got to finish this because I've got nothing else to say. What's that do? Add an image. They, these are really lovely, lovely way of working. The only difference is, of course, is that going on to the promise at the start, and that is that it's supposed to be create shadows, reflections to images, shapes, and text boxes. So far on mobile, I cannot find text boxes. So thank you very much and goodbye.